Greetings here from Mbali, here on the eastern side of Uganda. And with me, I've got two very, very special pastors. Now, we have been uh, starting a kickoff here today. This is now the first day where we spoke about the gospel and uh, all the wonderful things that Jesus has done for us. Now, with me here is Pastor Stephen. Now, Pastor Stephen, a quick, just a quick question. Now, you've heard what, we, what, what Harvesters is all about, planting churches, making disciples, you know, sharing the gospel of Jesus. How do you think this can impact the church in your world and also here in Uganda? Thank you so much. I am sure that many people, not only me, many people are touched, many people are encouraged, and there are very many, I'm sure, that are going to, to be to, to different levels, both in their spiritual lives as individuals, but also to the congregations and churches that they live in different communities. Uh, we've had many, many people, pastors in particular, that have lost. Sure. They have lost, they feel like they should quit, they feel they should uh, give up. Sure. They no longer find value in the work of the ministry. Uh, probably it could be as a result of the COVID pandemic that happened, but also as the world changes. You just told us that the world changes, but the word of God does not change. <laughs> I just want to glorify God and uh, I want to confess that this has come at the very right time and uh, the work is just started here teaching, it has reignited the fire, the ministers of the Lord, the gospel, because many have been down, many have been down, they couldn't know how to do it after the COVID that happened. Sure. But and after all those things that they went through, but this has been just like to reignite the fire of the of evangelism, and uh, I want to confess that inside our hearts we are feeling now that fire is back, <laughs> and uh, we feel we are ready now to start on the work from where people are the left from where they are slept from. As you came in with this harvesters Bible school, it has just been, it has acted just like what Aaron and Miriam did to Moses. You've just come to lift the minister's hands up because people have been tired. And every time our hands are down, the victory we lose it. But you've lifted the minister's hands up and we are sure we are going to win the battle. And we want to thank the Lord we have not remained the same and when you came actually last year and you brought some materials yeah. we gave it a try here at the church with the youth yeah. and it has ignited the youth to preach the gospel and we have mapped out some villages by nearby and that is what we are doing the next point with the youth so we want to bless god so what we do we plant churches change lives, transform communities in yes. the name of Jesus Christ. And God bless you all. And thank you so much, dear brothers. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, man. Amen. <laughs>